this video is on normal forms and this topic is from mathematical logics and this is related to mfcs dmgt and dms and in today's video i am going to give a clear clarity on what is normal forms and what are the types of normal forms here it is seen that there are two types of normal forms one is disjunctive and next one is conjunctive normal forms so what is this disjunctive and what is this conjunctive normal forms before that we have to learn what are elementary products so talking about elementary products see here what is a product so in this the symbol denotes is this one is product symbol so this one is a product symbol or otherwise known as conjunction see here this one is conjunction clear the product of see the product of variables and their negations in a formula is called elementary products clear the product means the symbol which we have to use this one is cap so it is otherwise known as conjunction the product of variables or propositions with, along with its negations is called elementary product for example if p and q are two atomic variables or two proportions then we say that p and q negation p and q p and negation q negation p and negation q so these are all the elementary products fundamental products so product is nothing but see here the multiplication between two propositions so this is a multiplication symbol or product symbol or conjunction symbol so this is an elementary product and next thing is elementary sum so you have to learn about the sum and product here so the sum is usually represented by this cap cup so this is a cup so this symbol is sum or otherwise known as disjunction see here so in disjunction we use this symbol cup and that one is cap see here the sum of the variables and their negations in a formula is called elementary sum so here sum is represented by cup here if p and q are two atomic variables then see here p sum q negation p or q and this is p or negation q and this one is negation p or negation q so these are all the elementary sums got an idea so this is represented by product the product is nothing but the cap or conjunction and the product of any two variables along with their negations is called the elementary product if p and q are two propositions or two uh, atomic variables then the product is represented as see here if it is 2 and 3 this is 2 into 3 3 into 4 like that so this is an elementary product among the propositions along with the negations if p and q negation p and negation q p and negation q and negation p and negation q so these are all the elementary products the products is represented with the conjunction or cap or product and here talking about the elementary sum so this is cup or or this is sum this is represented by sum or disjunction so here the sum of the variables and their negations in a formula is called elementary sum if p and q are two propositions or atomic variables then the sum is represented by p or q negation p or q p or negation q negation p or negation q these are all the elementary sums why i am talking about this elementary sum and elementary product see here now Coming to the normal forms, there are two types. One is disjunctive normal form and the other is, otherwise it is conjunct. Other type is conjunctive normal form. And see the difference between the normal forms. See here, the first one is disjunctive normal form or DNF. So it is represented by DNF. And the next type here is conjunctive normal form, which is CNF. So this is CNF. So this topic is most important topic. You're going to see at least one question from this DNF or CNF. So unless until you know what is what you can't go further. So that's why I'm talking about this elementary sum and elementary product. So you heard about elementary product and elementary sum. So here DNF, this is disjunctive normal form. So disjunction is obviously represented with the symbol or so this is disjunctive so or symbol and this one is unsymbol clear and next one here the product is represented by which symbol here this is cap 
and elementary sum is always represented by cup please remember the product of variables and their negations is elementary product see here the product of variables so the variables here are p and q and their negations is called elementary product see here the product is nothing but p and q so negation p and q P and negation Q and negation P and negation Q. These are all the products. And coming to this side, elementary sum. Sum is represented by this symbol, this one. Or, so this is sum. So this is product and this is a sum. And the sum of, see here, the sum of variables and their negations is called elementary sum. Here, P or Q, negation P or negation Q, P or negation Q, negation P or negation Q. So, this is elementary sum. So, talking about this DNF and CNF, the sum of, the sum is represented by the symbol, see here, cup. And the elementary product is represented by the symbol, cap. The sum of elementary products. So, here are the products here. So, so many products are represented by the symbol cap or and is called DNF or decision to normal form. See here, these are all the elementary product. So, here these are elementary product. So, these are all elementary products so in between what is there see i'll show you in between the symbol here is disjunction see here this is disjunction so whenever in between there is a disjunction so this symbol is otherwise called as the sum of the sum of elementary products is called dnf so this is disjunctive normal form so this is very very simple here so these are all the elementary products so which is represented by the symbol conjunction so in between there should be a product symbol and in between these two elementary products there should be a sum symbol so sum is otherwise called as disjunction and this is called as dnf in between what is there by that name you will call that is dnf so this is a conjunction symbol and these two are the elementary products. The sum of the elementary products is called DNF. Clear? And next one here is CNF. What is the CNF here? That is conjunctive normal form. Here, if you see the product of elementary sum is called A. Conjunctive normal form. So, here these two are. So, if you see these two are. Which one? Elementary See, this is represented by sum. So, these two are elementary sum. So, this is also elementary sum. So, in between what is there? So, in between there is a conjunction symbol. So, here if you see there is a conjunction. There is a conjunction. So, this is a CNF. So, if you understand this one, it is very, very easy. The sum is represented by this one and product is represented by this one. In between, there is a product. So, the product of elementary sums is called the conjunctive normal form and here the sum of elementary products is called the disjunctive normal form. So, if you understand this one, so it will be very, very easy for you to learn more and I will be uploading so many problems related to these series regarding this DNF and CNF and if you understand, see, learn more from this video and if you really like this video, pass it on to your friends, share it with your siblings and send to whomever you love the most and please understand this one. So, this is also very, very easy. So, the symbol here for disjunction is this one and conjunction is this one. For product, we represent the symbol as cap and for sum, this is cup. So, the product of, see here, if you learn this one, so, what is this one? This is a sum symbol or disjunction symbol. The sum of the elementary product. So, in bracket, brackets, there should be a product and in between the brackets, there should be sum. So, if the sum is represented by disjunction, so whatever in between these two brackets, that, that one you have to highlight it. So, this is a disjunction. So, you have to straight away 
learn that it is a disjunction normal form so in between the brackets you have to see so this is a product and otherwise known as conjunction so here it is very very easy to understand that in between what is their conjunction so therefore this is a conjunction normal form so here the difference between the sum of the elementary product and product of the elementary sum is nothing but so this is cnf and this is dnf so this is how you have to learn thank you so much for watching and i'll be uploading so many videos related to this series and please go through my next video also it is also very very helpful and check the playlist there are so many videos uploaded for your preparation please have prepare and your consistent practice will lead you to success thank you so much